Hi guys, Mr. Offwaffles here. This is a guide for you to build the Tesla gun in the Final Reich. And the steps for this are actually contained in a couple of the other videos that I've already posted about this map, such as the easy Easter egg guide, the casual quest, and a couple of other things as well, just because of the fact that the way the map works is it kind of layers things on top of stuff that you have to do regardless of what you're trying to achieve. So in this case, we're just trying to get the Tesla gun, but we're actually going to go about halfway through the process of completing the casual Easter egg. Anyway, here are the steps. They might sound quite familiar because if you've done the casual Easter egg, you already know how to do this. It starts off just like my Pack-a-Punch guide and my other main quest guide, and that's with you turning on the valves. There are three of them, you just need to hold down square until they go green, and once you've done that, you'll be able to activate the pilot light and keep going with the quest. If you don't know where the valves are, simply follow the cables from the electrical generator in the village square, and you should come right up to the valves without any issues. Once you've activated those three valves and then activated the pilot light, several zombies are going to spawn in, so kill them and then drop into the hole in the village square, then go up the slope that you've just dropped into, and you should see another electrical generator, which you can activate to turn on the power. As soon as that's done, go back up top and open the bunker door for 1,250 jolts. Then make your way through the tunnels, and in the command room, which contains the mystery box, you'll be able to find the door to the salt mine, but it's locked, and to open it, we need power. Power can be accessed via two separate switches that need to be activated within a certain amount of time of one another. So what you're going to want to do is follow me to this first switch and hit it just like I am and then follow the route that I am running and run all the way through to the switch on the other side of the command room. Activate that and you'll then have power on both switches and this step will be complete You can then open the salt mine itself at the door that we pointed out before Head down the slope and watch out for the bomb zombies and then go into the Emperor's chamber right at the bottom Run to the front of the chamber and activate the hilt and then you're going to need to kill a bunch of zombies within the red circle That's going to appear on the floor this is the first of many soul box type steps where you've just got to kill zombies and wait for something to happen. So buckle up, start killing, and once you've completed it, everything in the room should go red. Then go back up the slope and in the command room, turn the crank on this little device in the middle here, and that should allow the Geistcraft device to raise up into the air. You then need to head up the stairs in the command room and go to the back of this kind of panel. There'll be a red button that you can hit, and that's going to activate the Geistcraft transfer device. It's then going to start working its way around the area, and you're going to want to follow it and fill it with souls. So once again, there's a red circle on the floor, kill zombies in that circle, and they will charge the device itself and the device will stop once or twice each time it does this, so don't worry about that, just keep filling it with souls and eventually it will start moving again, and if you lose track of it as well, obviously look for the red circle on the floor, or press your touchpad and you should be able to locate it through the walls because it should be outlined for you. Once it gets to the end of its path, it's going to activate some kind of machine, some kind of generator thing that will spin up or do some kind of activity. Essentially, you need to wait for that to happen, and then out at the end of it should pop a piece of the Tesla gun that you're going to use in a moment to craft the Tesla gun. This process happens twice, so you have the device and you follow it through one of the routes that it's on, filling it with souls, it gets to the end, you get a Tesla piece, and then you do it all again, it'll go back the other way, you follow it the other way that time, you get another Tesla piece, and you're then done with the step, and you can head back to the command room. However, when you get back there, there's going to be a big old flame boy waiting to torch you up, so beware. Take your time killing it, it's not a big deal if you want to run away and leave the command room and take it upstairs or something where you've got a bit more space to run around, but kill it, and then go back up the stairs in that room that we were just in, the command room, and voila! You now have a Tesla gun, which you can upgrade if you like, into the Midnight or one of the other variants, and you can also do things like the rest of the casual quest, finish the boss fight, get yourself a trophy, all sorts of business, all possible from this jumping off point. But for now, you've got yourself a Tesla gun, congrats. If you do want to upgrade it and get the Midnight or something like that, then there's going to be a link in the top right hand corner of the screen and in the description down below. If this been useful guys please leave a like on the video and subscribe that's important and turn on notifications why the hell not and i'll see you next time bye bye